hi guys you are welcome to Jibril enterprise in today's video we are going to talk about silosia agentia also known as nigerian spinach or shoko in nigerian language silosia is a small genus of edible and ornamental plants in the amaranth family amaranthasia it is consumed as vegetable in some parts of West Africa, including Nigeria and Togo, as food. While in Ghana, they are mostly used as ornamental plants to decorate garden. Nigerian spinach has two different colors of leaves. Thus, the purple green leaf type and the pale green leaf type. No matter your seed selections, Nigerian spinach will still produce these colors on the farm. To grow this vegetable, you will have to first prepare your land by loosening the soil. After soil preparation, gently broadcast the seeds on the prepared soil. Partially cover the seeds with fine or dust soil to ensure uniform germination. After one week, you will start to see germination of your solosia seeds. No fertilizer application is required in its production, but if there is any need, organic fertilizers are recommended. Harvesting of solosia leaves can be started after the fifth week of planting or broadcasting, at this stage, the leaves are fully developed and the plants start to produce more branches as well. Harvesting of celosia is done by using sharp knife or scissors to cut the topmost part or middle of the growing plant or branches. This helps the plant to reproduce new branches or shoots. Its harvesting continues in this pattern whenever you see developed leaves or branches on the plant. But when growing them for their seeds, regular harvesting is not recommended because this will prevent them from producing flower heads. In Nigeria and Togo, celosia leaves are sold in the local markets but in ghana they are found in the wild and outskirts surroundings as ornamental plants celosia leaves are used in preparing traditional stews soups and side dishes as well they are cherished very well by the people who value them they start to produce flowers after six weeks of planting. They produce a wool-like flowers with a crested hair, just like cock's comb. Its tiny seeds are embedded in round shells within the wool flowers and spread out when fully matured. This makes it among the class of explosive mechanism plants. To know whether the seeds are fully matured, kindly hold the wool flowers and firmly press it hard in the palm. If the seeds are easily removed from the shelves within the wool flowers, then the seeds are confirmed matured. At this stage, the seeds become black in color and very hard in texture. After this process, you will be able to know as whether your seeds are fully matured or not. To harvest the seeds, the wool-like flowers are harvested and are put in the harvesting basin. Due to its plentiful wool flowers, it required high labor or plenty workers 
to facilitate its seeds harvesting. They can be harvested by any other individual, including children, since the wool flowers are easy to be caught with hands. The harvested wool flowers are put on a dry mat locally known as tapoli. They are allowed to further dry in the sun on the tapoli for easy threshing. After drying, clubs are now used to beat the wool flowers to remove the black seeds. The wool flowers are carefully removed, leaving the tiny seeds on the tapoli. Winnowing is then done to separate the seeds from the shafts. After this stage, the seeds can be stored in a dried container under room temperature for more than one year and they will still be viable for planting. At Jibril Enterprise, the seeds are packed in a commercial packaging bags for sale to peasant farmers, researchers, students, and gardeners or floricultures. Thank you very much for watching. Kindly subscribe to this channel for our subsequent videos and please click on the notification bell to be notified whenever we upload new videos. Bye-bye for now.